remember like when I started liking wrestling. Uh, my parents, first off, hated wrestling. They were just not about it. They thought I was weird for liking it and never understood why I wanted to go to shows or anything. But um, my great uncle, he was a wrestling fan. He stayed at my parents' place for like a weekend or something. And, and I might have been five or six. And he slapped it on. And like the Ultimate Warrior was there. And it was like colors and lights and, you know, crazy outfits. And I was just like, yep, I'm sold. So it was like... Going, I was at that age where I had been watching cartoons and, you know, liking, you know, uh, Thundercats. Thundercats! Oh! And it was like, like, the Thundercats came to life. And they were wrestlers. And that was, that's how I was just like, okay, this is what I want to do. Since I was five years old, I decided that I wanted to dress up in spandex. <laughs> the whole spectacle of everything, uh, the whole production, the whole bright lights, charisma, sports, entertainment, uh, seemed to have a little bit of everything um, that you could want to do. So growing up, I, uh, I loved WWF. It was my favorite show. I've always been a fan since I was eight years old. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, seeing Hulk Hogan, got was a huge Hulkamaniac when I was a kid. Bleeding, Charlie, he's bleeding from the forehead. Andre the Giant is bleeding in the rain of the Hulk. Andre is trying to get him and hits him. very 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 physical this is a very brutal sport when it comes to falls when it comes to bumps when it comes to any types of hits or shots and stuff like they're there uh, gravity is something that cannot be faked you're falling and you're hitting the mat a lot of people don't realize like what a ring is they think it's like a big trampoline it's not a big trampoline if it was we wouldn't be able to run on it it's a very hard solid surface um, <clears throat> Basically, metal beams, some thick wood boards, um, very little padding. It's just so we're not landing on directly on wood, and then a canvas pulled over it, and that's it. Uh, he's been coming to the school helping out some. Uh, so he's been like a bit of like a, giving tips and stuff to some of the students and stuff. And he's like that at shows now too. If he if he watches something or sees something, he gives feedback. Um, great guy, a lot of fun. This is for everyone. Like, just like the biggest thing is that like the difference between when I was just wrestling and when I thought I got it and started having fun wrestling. Like when you watch Matt Taven, when he wrestles, it's effortlessly. You know, I just, uh, I scratch my head. I'm like, damn, that kid can fly. This kid can, and he makes it look so easy, you know. And the athletic parts of wrestling, or the way I wrestle, came easy. And that's not to sound, you know, overconfident. I just, I was, uh, did like playing athletic things growing up, played a bunch of sports. So doing all that stuff, like the flashy stuff, came pretty easy to me. The the part that I think really let the crowd come in was that confidence. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey. 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 Everyone that works with him, myself included, um, trusts him and uh, enjoys working with him um more importantly he's he's a cool fucking dude he's cool in the locker room he's one of the boys he doesn't just sit there and mope or fucking ignore everybody else like an asshole. Not dead. What?
the guys that are in there, I, I love helping out and I kind of don't want it to be like when I first got in where people gave me the cold shoulder. I'd want to help everyone because, I mean, if everyone's better, then the business is better, then more people watch, then, you know what I mean, it's, it's a slow growth. I don't tell everybody that I'm a wrestler and stuff, but people see me limping around or walking or now I get kind of a black eye type thing from class tonight. But like, I have bruises everywhere, it happens, it's part of the deal. This isn't ballet. People look at like, oh, you want to be a wrestler? Like, you go and wrestle? Like, okay, you know what I mean? What is that? That's, anyone can go do that, but it's literally, my life revolves around wrestling from when I go to the gym to what I eat to how I get to certain places to, you know, the things I, I buy is all around wrestling. So, like, the girlfriend, you know, the girl I'm with now, who's also a wrestler, she can relate to the things I'm going through. <laughs> I'm the man. I wake up. I have my work schedule. I work at GE, you know, down the road in Beverly, and you know, it really is goddamn tough. I'm telling you right now, like these guys, you know, they kind of, you know, give me a hard time, like you know, but I have to lift weights. I have to miss the whole goddamn weekend. You know, my ex-girlfriend said it's me or wrestling, and I don't have a girlfriend anymore. You know, as you said, with like relationships, uh, you work the whole week, your girlfriend or wife works the whole week, and she's looking forward to that uh, weekend time where you can, you can spend together, and, and you really can't because you're on the road or you're wherever, uh, even if it's locally, um, still takes away from it. So. I can't really have a regular relationship because I have no weekends to myself. I really have no free time during the week, maybe like a Wednesday night. Um, so girls don't necessarily enjoy not, never seeing me, not seeing me. Uh, family is like just a holiday type of thing now. Um, I got Thanksgiving coming up and I'll be able to see some family I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, friends, uh, the wrestlers are not all my friends. Everybody that I'm on the road with and my students and stuff, that they've become my friends. I just think like people don't realize, when I was a kid and I would buy wrestling magazines, you'd flip through the wrestling magazine and you would see a guy that's similar status to where I am, you know, Matt Taven, he's got a full page, like, this guy must be a millionaire. Like, oh my God, he's got a full page in Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Like, this guy must, he must be living the life. In reality, like, you know, I'm driving a, a Saturn Ion that, like, has the check engine light on. Money, driving however many hours to get, uh, you know, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, if you're lucky. And then, uh, you know, not even having enough to cover gas, then your food and whatnot. But now it's like, you have to pay to play. I'm not 100% for this, however, that's kind of the nature of the business now. And things change with the times, and if you want to keep up with the business and the nature of the business now, you have to do whatever it is that it is. People don't realize the struggle that you go through to do it, and, um, you know, I choose to do it because you only live once, and if I was to, you know, die tomorrow, I'd look back and say, you know what? I, I, I tried wrestling and, and that's much better than, you know, trying anything else in this world. So I'm happy with what I'm doing. I just uh, hope one day it all pays off. So these days of, um, of counting the pennies kind of, I can look back and laugh at. Yes!